Today, we're talking about the smart home. And one of the most important categories in the smart home, at least to me, would be the security category. What's the best way to protect your home and your family while being smart at the same time? Well, for me, it's always going to be security cameras. That's always going to be my fallback. That's going to be the heart of the security factor in a smart home. Yeah, you can do it with smart lighting and some other smart devices, but security cameras are where it's at in protecting your home and your family, in my opinion. So today we're going to talk about all the different features and factors you want to consider when purchasing a security camera for your smart home. Let's get started. What up, everyone? It's George Langevier with Silver Hammer Surveillance. And again, today we're talking about the, the factors and what to think about when you're buying a security camera system for your smart home. I've been catching crooks with cameras for 20 years. So I've been in the trenches with this stuff. So when I sell this to somebody and, or recommend it to somebody, I don't look at this as a salesman. I look at this as the crook catcher or a guy that's been in the field with this stuff, catching bad guys and bad girls. So with that being said, let's kind of get to what you want to think about when you're buying a security camera system. Number one, do you want wired versus Wi-Fi? That's the first thing to consider. We're going to talk about the pros and cons for both. Okay, so let's talk about a wired camera system. What does that mean? A wired camera system is based off of a DVR or an NVR, and we'll talk about the difference between those two in a different video. But just think of the DVR or the NVR, the brains of the operation. And then you've got cameras around your house or inside your house with wires running back to that DVR. And again, that DVR is the brains of the operation. And there's a DVR and an NVR, for, but for this video, I'm just going to use DVR. So it's, a, again, a box that's the brains of the operation. It's kind of where all the features take place, and we'll talk about some of those in a, in a second. But the DVR system is kind of looked at as the most reliable option. It's been around the longest. Back in my day of a loss prevention manager, when I was there trying to catch crooks, we had our wall of monitors, and we had a DVR there with all our cameras going to it. And that's kind of how we used it. And why it's most reliable is just like we did back in the day, we didn't have internet going to those systems. And eventually we did later on and as technology advanced, but way back in the day, we didn't, we just had a monitor and you can still do that. And what's important about that is you don't need the internet for it to work. So if your internet goes out, your DVR system is still working. The only thing that can defeat a DVR system is a power outage. And if you get yourself a battery backup power supply, even that can't defeat a DVR system. So when I say a DVR system is the most reliable, that's one of the reasons why, but there are other reasons. Generally, the cameras, and, and forget about the ones you buy at a big box retailer, I call those drug dealer cameras. With surveillance, you get what you pay for. So you wanna be very careful when you go to a big box retailer and look for a wired camera system because some of them are just cheap junk. So you want to look for something good, but when you find something good in a wired camera system, they're the most reliable because they're the most vandal proof and the most weather proof. And we're going to talk about this in a second, but like here in Nebraska, weather is a huge factor. So we want your cameras to be very weather proof, but because they're wired and they're not relying on a wireless signal, they're the they're most reliable because they've just got a straight up wired connection. And again, if your Wi-Fi is weak or whatever, it doesn't matter. They're still working. So very durable, weatherproof, vandal proof, and the most reliable because of that wired connection. So those are the big pros to it. You also have a DVR. So your storage is typically built into that DVR. So if you're familiar with Ring and some of these other Wi-Fi options, and we're going to get to those in a second, most of those are cloud-based and you're paying a monthly fee to pay for storage because you're basically renting storage on their server because you don't have a DVR back at home to store your footage. So a DVR camera system has a, D a hard drive built into it, at least most of the time. There are some cloud options in the wired camera systems. But for this example, you know, as far as the reliability, a DVR with a hard drive is your best bet because you've got a hard drive at home. You don't have to rent storage, so there's no monthly fee with the wired camera system. So you're paying the price of the system up front or to get it installed or you can install it yourself or whatever it is. But then there's no fee after that because you've got that storage built in. So that's also very reliable because if you know somebody's server goes down or whatever, you're not going to lose your footage. You've got it built into your hard drive at home. You know where it's at. Nobody else is looking at it because it's right there on the box in your house. And you know you can hook your cameras, your wired camera system up to the internet, usually to your router. There are some Wi-Fi options out there. So, but the only time you're using the internet for that is to actually view them on your phone or your tablet or a PC or Mac. 
but they're still working if the internet goes out. So yeah, you you know, if that's the only way you're viewing your cameras, you might not be able to see them if your internet goes out, but it's still working. So when your internet comes back on, go back to your phone, your tablet, and you can still see your footage because it was still working in the background when your internet went out. But if you get yourself a monitor like what's behind me, you know, you can always go to that monitor and see your footage, internet or not. So again, reliability, and then a lot of the features just kind of, they're the, they're the most reliable and usually the most high quality uh, camera system out there is a wired camera system. So you've got a DVR that's yours, you own it, your storage is there, you got a nice wired connection going back to your cameras. And so that makes them very reliable. They're usually the best made cameras, at least the good ones. Like I said, you want to come to somebody like us to get something like that. And, you know, everywhere across the country, there's somebody like us. You don't want to go to a big box retailer and just get some cheap junk. But basically, those are the pros of a wired camera system. Reliability, durability, and just the most reliable in general. So let's talk about some of the cons of a wired camera system. When you're talking about the cons of the wired camera system, there are actually only a couple. Unfortunately, one of them is a big one. So the con number one is, yes, a lot of people worry about this because you have a DVR in your home that's got all your footage stored on it. If a thief broke in and stole your DVR, you're kind of screwed. Your footage is gone with your DVR. Now, we've had customer after customer after customer worry about this, but I can tell you I've never actually had it happen. It is a legitimate concern, and it does make it a con, but I've never had it happen. So again, a thief could break in, steal your DVR, and then you're out your footage, and your camera system is pretty much rendered useless. So that's con number one. Con number two, and really this is the biggest one for me, is the lack of features. And we're going to kind of talk about a lot of these features in, in more depth as we go through this video. But features in general, now there are some out there that are an exception, in general, wired camera systems just aren't as smart as a Wi-Fi solution. All these Wi-Fi solutions that are popping up just keep getting smarter and smarter. And unfortunately, the wired camera systems are just a little bit behind. And so in general, like we're going to talk about alerts. Alerts are very important. Somebody's in your yard, you want them to be alerted. Well, a lot of times the wired camera system isn't quite as advanced as some of these other Wi-Fi options, which we're going to talk about with facial recognition and such. So you're not going to get alerted as well as you are with some of these very smart Wi-Fi features. So, and they also don't integrate very well into the smart home. So there are a few that are, you know, you basically got Apple, you've got Google, and you've got Amazon. There are a couple that have a little bit of integration into that, but not nearly as much as the Wi-Fi options. So if you don't care about that, that's not really a con. But if you do, if you want it integrated into your smart home, this isn't the better option as far as the Wi-Fi versus wired camera systems. And again, we're going to talk about this more in a moment. But the wired camera systems in general aren't quite as smart and don't integrate into the smart home as well. So they're more reliable, more durable, and yes, a great security option that you can use in conjunction with your smart home, but like not actually integrated into the Google Assistant app or the Google Home app or the Apple HomeKit app or the ALEXA app. So they're not as integrated into that as some of these Wi-Fi options. So again, the cons really are, yeah, somebody could steal your DVR and you're screwed. It's never happened. We've got a lot of customers. It's never happened, but yes, it's a legitimate concern. And number two, not quite as integrated into the smart home. And that's what we're talking about today. So that is a con. So with that being said, those are the kind of the pros and cons of a wired camera system. Again, the other big option that you have is a Wi-Fi system. And so when you're first making that decision on what camera system do I buy for my home, wired versus Wi-Fi. So we've talked about wired, let's move on to Wi-Fi. Okay, so Wi-Fi cameras, they've kind of been brought to the forefront because of things like Ring and, and Nest. There's a lot of cameras out there that have made these very popular. You know, when I first started doing this, I had cameras on my house because I've always been a security guy. But back in 2008, when I started Silverhammer, and I had cameras on my house, the police were looking at me because I probably looked like a drug dealer or something because only shady people had cameras on their house back then. Now, thanks to the revolution of the doorbells, the video doorbells, everybody's got cameras. And it's actually the first question police will ask, do you have cameras? And they'll walk up and down the street until they find someone with cameras. So much more socially acceptable now. So the Wi-Fi cameras kind of brought that to the forefront. 
with kind of the birth of the video doorbell is what started it. But now it's kind of branched into this whole new thing. So let's talk about the pros and cons for Wi-Fi cameras. And again, we're talking about something like Ring or Nest or the Apple HomeKit uh, secure video HomeKit cameras. There's some others too, but those are kind of the three most popular. So they use Wi-Fi to exist, and that's kind of a con. Your Wi-Fi has to be strong enough to get to the outside of your house. Wi-Fi is usually meant to be inside. These have to go outside. So your Wi-Fi has to be strong enough to get outside your house. And there's ways you can do that. Mesh routers, various things, which we'll talk about in future videos. But your Wi-Fi is the key to these things working. If your Wi-Fi is not working, these cameras aren't working. So you can have all the features in the world, but if your Wi-Fi is not strong enough to support them, especially if you get a lot of cameras in your house, you know, if you just have one or two here and there and your Wi-Fi is decent, great. But if you're getting eight cameras or something like that, not only do you want the Wi-Fi to reach, but you've got to have the speeds to support it with your internet provider. So that's a strong consideration when you're getting Wi-Fi. Check with your, you know, make sure you know what you're paying for in your internet speeds. And then just kind of go around your house and check the internet connection outside where you put these cameras. Is your Wi-Fi strong out there? If it's not, obviously, bam, big con. They're not going to work. And again, there's ways to fix that. Mesh routers, you know, people think Wi-Fi extenders are great and boosters. They're not. But mesh routers are the way to go. You get full-blown routers around your house that form this big, huge wall of Wi-Fi. And that also goes for outside your house. So you can put them at different points around the outside, of your, you know, the perimeter of the inside of your home, but it covers the outside of your house for these cameras. And then all of a sudden the Wi-Fi is not a con. But it is still a con if your Wi-Fi goes out. Now, that's not as much of a con as it used to be because Wi-Fi is a lot more reliable nowadays. But if your Wi-Fi goes out, camera's not working. Huge con. Con number two, we talked about the DVR camera system where you have storage built in. Well, Wi-Fi cameras typically have a cloud storage or an SD card. And the, both of those are kind of a con. SD cards, you know, they're great if they'll cycle in, you know, your footage. Problem with an SD card is they can fill up. So you want to make sure you buy a camera that will overwrite their SD card so you don't actually always have to go up to the camera and switch out an SD card because that's a con. You got your cameras up, you know, where you need a ladder. You don't want to go up there every couple days and switch out an SD card. So the other option would be the cloud storage. Now that's can be a, a very positive thing. So we talked about the DVR. If somebody steals your DVR, you're screwed. Well, the nice thing about a cloud storage is they can't steal your footage. So you can... They can steal every camera you have, but your footage is protected in the cloud. So that's a positive to the cloud, but the, the negative to the cloud, and most people worry about, is usually that requires a monthly fee. The monthly fees aren't too horrible nowadays, but still a lot of people don't buy a burglar alarm because they don't want the monthly fee of a burglar alarm, that monitoring service, or whatever you're paying for, $50, $60 a month. Now on average, cameras are around $10 to $12 for their cloud storage, so it's not a huge fee, but it is a fee. And sometimes people just don't want a fee. So if you're worried about that kind of thing, then a Wi-Fi camera, that's that's a con. So let's move on to the pros. And on the residential side of things, if, I, if you were a business customer of ours, I would go wired camera system all day long. Most reliable, you just put it up, you don't worry about it. But for homeowners, especially with the smart home, Wi-Fi cameras are where all the features are at. All the smart home integration, Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, smart things. I have Triple T, all those things. That's where it is, the Wi-Fi cameras. They've got all the smart features. So again, when you're talking about those features, there's a ton of them. And we're going to kind of focus on the key factors as far as actually securing your home and the smart side of things that are actually important. So let's talk about those features. Okay, so again, one of the key features, we're talking smart home here, is the integration. So usually these cameras, you know, depending on which one you bought, unfortunately Google and Apple and Amazon are always at war. So some cameras work with this platform, some cameras work with that platform, some cameras work with all three. So a big consideration is finding one that works with the platform that you use in your house. Now, those three companies and others are working on a unified smart home platform, which is gonna be fantastic. So I think it's coming in the future, but right now they're always at war. So just make sure you find a system that's going to work with what you've got. So that's feature. That's that's key number one. Pro feature number one is the is the features. 
you want to you want to look at all the cool smart features and a lot of them will have facial recognition let's talk about that for a second that one is huge to me big problem with all cameras wired or wi-fi is a lot of them will just record when there's motion that's great and all you know some of them will record continuously but a lot of them will just record when there's motion so something starts moving in your yard or if you've got cameras inside something starts moving inside they'll start recording and that's great and all but outside you've got trees raccoons cats dogs passing cars in the street leaves blowing in the wind bushes by your front door and your video doorbell all those things are going to set off your cameras and so when you're going to search the video for these cameras you might as well just sit down and get the popcorn out because you're going to be reviewing and reviewing and reviewing until you actually find a person so again a big feature is facial recognition and a lot of these wi-fi cameras have it now there are some wi-fi or uh, wired camera systems excuse me that have it but it's not quite as advanced as a lot of these wi-fi features or wi-fi cameras so nest for example now the nest iq outdoor is probably the most popular camera with our customers and the one i probably believe in the most as far as wi-fi now unfortunately that camera's just been discontinued and there's a new one coming and we don't know when it's coming which i have another video on but i'm sure it's going to have a lot of the same features as the last one but that camera had very good facial recognition it would actually send you pictures of people you could name them from then on it would know by name who's in your yard and why is that important because security cameras the number one reason they're important is to stop something from happening before they get in your house you know burglar alarms are great and we've got a video on this too but my problem with the burglar alarm is the thief is in your house wi-fi cameras with this facial recognition you can stop them from getting there because you're getting an alert that there's a person in your yard you can look at the camera see what's going on and then that brings us to another pro with wi-fi cameras as most of them have really good two-way audio i shouldn't say really good because there are some of them that are two-way audio sucks so another consideration is how good the speaker is on a camera so do your research find out a camera that's got a good speaker and a good microphone because what's great about those cameras with two-way audio is if you get an alert with the facial recognition you can then see that they're there and if it's somebody that doesn't belong you can get on that two-way audio and you can scare them away so you can tell them to get out of your yard tell them you've got a weapon tell them you've called the police tell them you've got a dog whatever you want to tell them but two-way audio can be a huge feature now a lot of wired camera systems have audio but usually it's one way so you can hear the person but they can't hear you so with these wi-fi cameras you're adding the, the two-way and so not only can you hear them but they can hear you so you can yell at them and tell them to get out of your yard so those are two key features right there what does it alert you for what does it detect what is it recording for the ring video doorbell is a perfect example for me i don't like it and it's because of the alerts and it's because of what it detects it's just motion so if you've got a bush by your front door forget about it that thing blows in the wind you're going to get alerted all day long. You're going to think it's a false alarm and you're going to stop worrying about it because you just think it's the bush. And then all of a sudden somebody's actually at your door and you miss that alert. So facial recognition is key. So that's one of the big features of a Wi-Fi camera, facial recognition. And then that ties to the two-way audio where you can scare somebody to death because they think you're coming after them or you've called the police or whatever it is. So those are two big features of the Wi-Fi cameras again in, in addition to integrating into the smart home when we're talking about that smart home integration another key factor is how the wi-fi cameras integrate with other security features like smart lighting and smart locks you know with smart displays you can kind of see your cameras on the smart display so you can pull them up you know in the example of this nest video doorbell when somebody rings your doorbell they automatically pop up on the screen so that's how it can kind of be more integrated into the smart home than let's say a wired dvr system you can see them on your smart displays with a google chromecast you can pull them up on your tv you know with the echo show you can see your ring camera on the, on the screen there's several different things that you can integrate with other smart home devices and make them work together so that's another benefit as to how they integrate with your smart home again your smart lock you can do different automations so when your smart lock activates you know other things happen in your home so you know they can all work together and with those wi-fi options that's what allows you to do that okay when we're talking about pros and cons for the wi-fi cameras again kind of the cons are relies on wi-fi 
might have a monthly fee. Pros are integration with the smart home, features like the facial recognition, features like two-way audio. But let's talk about privacy. When you're talking about Wi-Fi, again, with the wired camera systems, you can kind of take the internet out of the equation. No one can hack you if they're not hooked up to the internet. So people worry about hacking and people worry about other people watching you on your cameras. And that is a genuine concern. So a major consideration with the Wi-Fi cameras and even the wired camera systems, if you do have it hooked up to the internet, is privacy. So what camera is going to get you the most privacy? Now, there's some cameras in this showroom right now that I'm sure they're watching us right now. And I have them in here to tell our customers that example. And I'm not going to get into that right now, but we'll do other videos on, on that in the future. And then there are other cameras that I'm actually convinced that they're not watching us, that they give you more privacy controls. So privacy is a huge, huge thing. Now, no offense to anybody out there, but when your cameras are exterior, you don't have to worry about privacy as much because no offense, who wants to look at your outside, to your backyard? I mean, unless you have a pool and people are doing, I don't know, you know, but most of the time a thief could care less what's going on in somebody's yard. Yeah, they might find out what kind of car you drive. There's a couple of things you could worry about. But privacy-wise, outside's not a very big deal. So people that come in here all the time that are just putting cameras on their outside of their house and they're worried about privacy, I totally understand why you're worried about it. But to me, it's not that big a deal because, again, you have the most beautiful yard in the world, but a thief could care less. All right, but that takes us to indoor cameras, and that is obviously a huge concern. Now, for the most part, people have indoor cameras for security, but also for their teenagers and pets. Catch their teenagers doing crazy things or to talk to their pets with that two-way audio. Okay, in those, in those types of situations, you know, yeah, you've got cameras in general areas, but it's usually not anywhere too private. Now, sometimes people keep their pets in a bedroom, so they've got a camera in that bedroom for their pet. You know, normally, hopefully you don't have a camera in your teenager's room. But sometimes, you know, your, your cameras usually aren't in, in areas where you really need to worry, but obviously you don't want anybody seen in your house that shouldn't be seen in your house. And I totally understand that no matter wherever your camera is. So you want to focus on cameras. There's a lot of cameras like Nest, for example, or actually most of them will know the Bluetooth location of your phone and you can invite different users for these cameras. So all of your family members can have their own access to the cameras or at least part of the account. So it knows when your family home is home or not. So that way, if it's a certain family member that you know, you don't, you're not worried about watching, then you can just have that camera turn off automatically for privacy. And these cameras are smart enough. And again, that's why some of the Wi-Fi features are an advantage because they're smart enough to know when you're home and when you're not. And they'll turn themselves off when you're home and they'll turn themselves on automatically when you leave and you don't have to lift a finger. It knows the Bluetooth location of your phone and it just switches on and off when you come and go for privacy. And that's just a feature if you want it. If you want your camera on all the time, you can have it on all the time. If you want it off until you turn it on, you can. But you want to make sure you have a camera that does that. There's some shady cameras out there that'll be on all the time and they'll say they can turn off and they don't. But that's why you want to talk to an expert and pick the right camera that does have those privacy options. Because when you get into indoor cameras, that's where the privacy is a huge issue. You don't want somebody that's not supposed to be watching your house. I don't care what room it is, but especially bedrooms. You don't want somebody watching your house. So privacy is a huge consideration. And again, it's somewhat of a consideration with wired cameras, but they're a lot more secure because you're not using the internet as much, but you definitely still want to worry about it both ways. But Wi-Fi is, is definitely a, a bigger privacy concern than the wired, but you want to consider them both ways. So that's kind of, the, in general, the difference between wired and wireless or Wi-Fi. Those are the pros and cons of both. So now let's just talk about some very general considerations on both sides when buying a security camera for your house. Okay, so whether it's a wired camera system or a Wi-Fi camera system, there are four key factors that apply to both of them when you're gonna buy a security camera system for your home. Number one, durability. And this is where going to a big box retailer and just getting the cheapest camera system out there is a problem, is durability, because you can get some cheap stuff that's only going to last you a couple of years and then you're just replacing it, replacing it, replacing it. So durability is the key. We have some ca cameras here that you could take a bat to and it'd break the bat and the camera would be fine. You want a camera like that because these cameras are outside. 
they got to survive. You know, vandals are very, you know, if a vandal wants to try to defeat your camera system, they might try to take a bat to your camera system. They might try to take it down. They might try to destroy it. So you want a durable vandal proof camera that can't be tampered with. That's going to survive a blow, you know, outside. You just never know what's going to happen. But take example of this ring camera here. You know, I've got a lot of problems with ring. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But, you know, when you buy a camera that's cheaply made like this, you know, Ring's got a great marketing team, and yes, it's better than nothing, and people will argue that it's the greatest thing ever. But look at this camera. You could just, it shakes in the wind. I touch it, it starts to break. I, I show this to customers all the time, and this, you know, part falls off. Um, but you want a durable camera that's going to last. You want a camera that might be locked to its base, so you can't just pull it off, you know, because you've got to worry about a, camera, you know, a person stealing it. Arlo cameras, for example, another very popular Wi-Fi option. Well, you can just walk right up to a Arlo camera and steal it because it's just a magnetic camera to a magnetic base. Walk right up to it and I just stole your camera. So what good is that camera? So you want a camera that locks to its base. You want a camera that's very durable and vandal proof. And you just don't want it to be destroyed very easily. I mean, you spend a lot of money on it. What point is it if you, if you can just crush it with your hand? So durability. Number two, weatherproof. You want a camera that's weatherproof. And I can't stress this enough, especially like here in Omaha, Nebraska, or Nebraska in general. Weather is a huge factor. People will buy cameras and, and they only last two years and they don't realize why. It's because of the weather. You get the right cold snap in a winter and bam, your camera's toast. And people just don't think about that. So you go to a big box retailer and you buy what I call the drug dealer cameras and you can't understand why it only lasted two years. Well, depending on what part of the country you live in, weather might, might have done it in. So you want a weatherproof camera. Some of our wired camera systems that we sell, you know, would be fine in Alaska. They're rated negative 40 degrees all the way up to 140 degrees if it's like that every day. That's the kind of camera you want. And there are some Wi-Fi cameras that are close to that. And that's, again, where a wired camera system might be the most reliable because they're usually the most weatherproof. But there are some Wi-Fi cameras out there that are just pretty damn close. But weather, huge factor. So some of the parts of the country, it's not going to matter as much. Heat's not quite as big a deal for the cameras as it is for, like, let's say, your DVR. But heat's not as big a deal as the cold. But I'm telling you, there's there's several cameras that you can just go buy at Costco or whatever. And it's only going to last two years because the weather's going to do it in. So weather is huge. So moving on to factor number three, and that would be resolution. You know, Back in the day, you're looking at some bank cameras or whatever, and you can't even tell there's a human being on the screen. Well, nowadays, that's pretty much fixed. But, you, you know, there's still a lot of companies out there that will sell you a very low-resolution camera, and it's just not going to work for you anymore. There's such great resolution now. You want to make sure you have resolution that's worthy of today's standards. You know, a lot of companies out there, you know, in the world of HD, there's 720p, there's 1080p, there's 2K, and there's 4K. In my opinion... You shouldn't be going below 2K anymore. There's just no reason for it. So 1080p and 720p are on their way out. And I just don't think you should buy a camera that low anymore. There are some advantages to some 1080p cameras, but you should definitely never buy a 720p camera in 2021. So resolution is a huge factor. You want to try to get a license plate in your driveway. You want to know what the person's wearing. You want to know what the person, what the what it said on their t-shirt. You want to start, you know, probably at least a 2K resolution. 1080 yeah, but 2K, 4K, anything in between. For example, here at Silverhammer, with our wired camera systems, we start at 5 megapixel. 5 megapixel kind of equates to in between 2K and 4K. 720p is 1 megapixel, 1080p is 2 megapixel, 2K is in between, and then 4K is 8 megapixel. So then 5 megapixel is kind of where we start. Now, some of the Wi-Fi options, they've got 1080p cameras, they've got some 4K features, and those are fine. But in general, you want to kind of stay away from the 1080 and 720 because I really think they're on their way out. But resolution is key. Obviously, if you see something in your yard, you're using the security rig cameras for a purpose, you want to be able to see what the heck you're looking at. So resolution is huge. Consideration number four, night vision. Night vision is a big deal. You know, especially in the winter when it's darker longer, you want to make sure you can see what the heck's going on in the, at night. Now, People tell me all the time, oh, you know, all this theft happens at night. Well, a lot of times it happens smack dab in the middle of the day. 
So I'm telling you, the, the these things happen at night, myth, that's not a thing. It happens during the day a lot. But nighttime is obviously still very important because things do, bad day, things do happen at night, especially in the middle of the night. So you want the night vision to capture this. Now with infrared, a lot of cameras go black and white and that's fine. But you want some advanced features like full frame illumination. And, and again, these are all features we can cover in future videos. But a lot of these drug dealer cameras have what's called like a spotlight effect, where it's just kind of showing in the middle of the image some light and then around it's very dark and fuzzy. Well, that's not doing you any good. You want to light up the whole image. So you want some advanced night vision features that even if it's black and white and infrared, it's going to maintain its resolution and still have a nice crisp picture, but cover the whole screen. And then there are cameras out there that are advancing with color night vision, which is great. Um, sometimes they've got an artificial light that shines on the camera that you can see all the time, which can be a pro and con because yeah, it can deter people and make, make them think you have a camera and maybe they'll go to the next house because of it. But also it kind of screams that you have a camera and depends on the person whether they like that or not. But some, some of the color night vision cameras are kind of working on not having an artificial light. And I think as, as time goes on, that, that will continue to advance. But color night vision is a thing, so that's a consideration. But to me, even the infrared black and white, as long as it's crisp and clear and it covers your entire image, that's the key factor. So night vision is important. You don't want to buy some cheap crappy camera. That's not going to help you at night because then what's the point? So that kind of sums up the four key features to buy, whether it's Wi-Fi or wired. Again, we talked about Wi-Fi or wired as far as the general basis of your decision. Do I go wired or do I go Wi-Fi? Then we talked about kind of the pros and cons and the features. Wired has, some of them have both. Both wired and Wi-Fi have both. Some of them one or the other, but those are kind of the considerations. Wired or Wi-Fi, what features do I like? What features are not important to me? But the last four key features that we talked about should be in your list no matter what you're buying. So, hope this helped. Hope you're going out there and buying some security cameras in 2021. It's the best way to protect your home and family, I'm telling you. It's just going to get smarter and smarter. I do believe that cameras will eventually replace burglar alarms. I think burglar alarms will be a thing in the past, here in the very near future. So again, you know, smart home integration, if that's important to you. Maybe the Wi-Fi options are better, but wires is always advancing. But again, most reliable and can be used in conjunction with the smart home. That's why we're still talking about it in a smart home video. Just because it's not integrated into an app doesn't mean that it can't be part of your smart home. So hope, hopefully all this helped. Hopefully that you're gonna go out and buy a security camera system wherever you're at in the world. I'm telling you, give you a little peace of mind. They're useful for not only security, but also for your kids and your pets and, and other things. Um, so if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, more security tips to come, more smart home talk to come. Until next time, peace and love.